Hello YouTube, this is Jay here and this will be my new experimental tank. It is the same dimensions as my previous uh, deep substrate experiment. It is a 22 liter, it's pretty small. And what I'm trying to test here is, will duckweed, you can see the duckweed on the surface there, combined with a small sponge filter, will those two be enough to make a permanently no water change system? Basically, I'm trying to see if this is enough to make this thing uh, not build up any nitrates at all. So yes, I will be doing this for as long as I see fit. Uh, probably more than six months. This tank I actually set up about one month ago. It's been four weeks. And I'll be posting a video now. So how this tank was set up was it had a sponge filter and I just added some rocks. And in here, I have a bunch of Moscow Black Guppies. I've added a bunch of fry in here. The adults are in a different tank, and I'll be using the fry for this experiment. And I also have some cleanup crew. I have a red cherry shrimp, and I have red ram's horn snails, as usual. Now, the reason I have gone for these guppies and specifically the guppy pups is because the neon tetras they're not really a fish that breed or grow or change that much they just stay, stay pretty much the same they just grow a little bit in size and that's it and the thing about fish is no matter what you do some of them are gonna die like so I did lose some neon tetras and I wasn't sure if I lost them because there was something wrong with the tank or I just got unlucky or just sheer attrition they just died because of all the old age and stuff so I'm adding these guppy fry so I can see them growing. Eventually they're gonna get to breeding age and uh, they're gonna have babies. So if they grow and breed continuously over the months, I will know for sure that there isn't really anything wrong with the tank. And even if a couple of them die, I'll know they died because you know I just got unlucky, not necessarily because there's something wrong with the tank itself. So that's why I chose guppies. Um, I was originally uh, thinking about doing this just guppy only, but I felt like just because I did it with all my other tanks, it would be nice to have a cleanup crew. And the thing about shrimp is they need some sort of cover. If they're left exposed, they won't really do that well. They like to hide in these nooks and crannies when they molt because that's when they're very vulnerable. So that's why I added the rocks. It's just some hiding space for the shrimp to grow and molt. So that's what's, that's why that's there. And um, this is just aqua soil, it's compact soil, uh, that's the brand name. Uh, this is just leftover from the previous experiment, I just left it there because of the shrimp. They really do not like to be in like total bare bottom tanks, they like something to like grab onto. So I just added the substrate, it's just one single layer pretty much and you can see some parts of it, there's not no substrate at all. That's just so the shrimp have something to graze on, like it's doing right there that white thing is a shrimp molt so when you see those molts you know that the shrimp are growing because uh, they have to molt to grow um, I have about 10 guppy fry in here they are I guess about two to three months old now and uh, I think a couple of them died I haven't really seen any corpses I just feel like the number went down a little bit when I count them but overall, most of them have survived and grown. So for one month, uh, I just set up this tank without the duckweed and the lights just to prove that the nitrate levels will slowly increase. And the nitrates did get to uh, 25 milligrams per liter over that one month. So that's when I decided that was enough and I, uh, I basically stopped and I did a water change and I added the duckweed and the light last week. So that's what happened, and ever since, the nitrate levels have stayed, st uh, stayed stable, but of course, time will tell if that will change. Okay, so it's been several months since the experiment began, and the guppies have become adults. And for the first time, the guppies have actually had babies. As you can see there. That is a newly born guppy fry. Several of them 
swimming around. Now I will take these guys out because the adults can eat them. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do, so no need to risk it. I'm going to raise these guys to a certain size in a separate tank. So they get big enough that they don't get eaten. As for the other critters, the shrimp are doing very well. You can see there are several there. Um, I added this fake plant just to give extra cover because I was anticipating fry, so I wanted them to have more of a place to hide than the rock pile, so that's what I did there. And over here, that is actually a buried female, so you can see the shrimp are also breeding. And their population have definitely steadily increased over the months. As for the snails, you can see there are several individuals all over the place. There's some there, there's a bunch of small ones there. So the snails are also doing quite well and the duckweed I have to take out about a third every couple weeks so that's what I'm doing. So yeah, the tank is actually doing surprisingly well. I thought this would fail eventually, but it did not. It's doing very well, very well. Hello guys, so it's been one year since I set up this tank, this experimental tank. And I am quite surprised. Um, so at this one year point, I'm just going to conclude the experiment. I don't see any point in going any longer. So this tank just survived for a year without any problems. As far as nitrates, uh, ammonia has always been zero. I, whenever I test ammonia, it's always at zero. And uh, as for nitrates, it has never gone up beyond 12.5. It fluctuates a bit, but 12.5 is about the maximum that it ever goes. So I thought this tank would fail at some point because um, the only thing that can get rid of nitrates in this tank is this duckweed up here. And I totally underestimated the power of duckweed. Um, this duckweed grows very fast and it has been able to offset um, the nitrate growth so duckweed only actually worked i thought duckweed would not be strong enough i thought i would need some deep substrate and some other plants to make this thing uh, work for uh, long term and i thought maybe duckweed could uh, hold back the nitrates for maybe six to seven months that was my estimation but um, i'm actually quite surprised it has lasted for a year so yeah um theoretically this has proven that you can have a tank with duckweed only and uh, as long as you have a light that's strong enough and as long as you're not feeding it too much you can have and uh, with one sponge filter you can have a tank last pretty much for a really long time at least one year without uh, water changes and the guppies continue to breed the shrimp continue to breed you can see there's a whole bunch of them um, there's a bunch of snails there you can see there's some snails there's some ram's horn snails and so yeah so the snails and the shrimp and the fish, the guppies, they have all been breeding. Um, the guppies, because of predation, I do take out the fry and uh, I put them back once they're grown. Um, but some of the fry, I just I keep them in a really big tank, so I don't return every single fry back to this tank when they're grown. And if I returned every fry, this tank would be uh, too overpopulated. So, anyways, I kept about you know about ten guppies in here. At any given moment, I cycle them in and out, depending on the population. So yeah, whenever they give birth and I see tiny babies flo floating around, I would uh, scoop them out and grow them out in a separate tank. And I would add them uh, back in when they reach certain size. And some of the fry I just keep in the big tank and I just never return them because uh, uh, the amount of babies that these guys pump out uh, it would overpopulate the tank too much. So anyways, the conclusion of the experiment is... Is it possible to have a no water change tank with only duckweed 
uh, and the sponge filter and the answer appears to be uh, yes almost maybe it'll fail in like three or five years I don't know I don't intend to uh, take this experiment that long but yeah as far as uh, I'm concerned oh there goes the lights um, this tank can last for a very long time thanks for watching okay this is about 30 minutes later and I've made several improvements to the tank so the previous tank was a experimental tank. It was a tank where I was try just trying to test the duckweed. So I had duckweed and nothing else in it, just to test the full potential of the duckweed. And although it worked in this, this case, I wouldn't consider that a very reliable system because you are just asking the duckweed to do all the work. And if for some reason, maybe some water parameter, temperature, something um, screws up the duckweed, then this tank is bound to fail and there are many ways to eliminate that risk so what I've done is I've added several more species of plants I got some plants here some uh, some moss and a bunch of uh, foxtail so I'm adding plant variety so for some reason one plant isn't doing too well maybe the other plants will uh, pick up the slack and grow and do the filtration for me so that is a safer way to set up a tank is to have multiple plant species. More biodiversity is usually uh, better. And back here, although I kind of covered up with rocks, um, normally I would just cover this up completely with the rocks, but I just uh, let, left a little gap here just so I can show you what I did. Um, uh, the thing back there is a little uh, plastic bottle that I cut out that's filled with uh, clay substrate. So. That, can o that not only does that act as a substrate for these plants, it also acts as a deep substrate layer that can do some of the filtration. I mean, that's not gonna, that, uh, that substrate alone isn't going to be enough, but it's going to help, right? So those are some few modifications that I made. Um, the water is still a bit murky because I move things around. And in this configuration, I imagine this could almost last indefinitely in a wa no water change mode. Um, duckweed only, I wouldn't feel very safe about it, keeping it long term, but um, in this configuration, um, this is more closer to what I would do uh, normally if I wasn't experimenting and I was, just, I was just trying to set up a really nice tank. This is what I would do. Although what I would do is have more plants in it, but I don't really want to modify this tank too much. I just wanted to do something quick here just to show you what would be a more ideal setup if you're planning to set up something like this. This is what you could do, just some ideas there. So yeah, thanks for watching. That was a pretty long experiment and uh, I intend to keep this tank in this configuration for I don't know how long until I'm, uh, I need to do something else, maybe do a new experiment. So yeah, thanks for watching.